cycles. In the first step, electricity is produced using a gas turbine. It operates much like an aircraft's jet engine. However, the gas turbine in this configuration supplies power from its spinning shaft directly to an attached generator to make electricity. Air is compressed in the gas turbine through multiple precision fan blades. This compressed air is mixed with natural gas, then ignited into a stream of high-energy, high-pressure air. The power of the pressure and extreme heat passes through a set of turbine fan blades, which spin the turbine shaft at 3600 RPM for 60 Hz markets or 3000 RPM for 50 Hz markets. The spinning shaft of the gas turbine is attached to an electrical generator, which converts this energy into enough electricity to provide a small city with all of its electricity needs. As the exhaust exits the gas turbine, it still has plenty of energy to utilize. This energy is used to power the second step of the flex plant combined cycle process. The excess heat of the gas turbine is routed to a specially designed boiler called a heat recovery steam generator. The hot exhaust flows past rows and rows of tubes filled with water, causing the water to boil and convert to steam. The steam is then routed to a steam turbine that is also connected to a generator, making even more electricity. The steam turbine is powered completely by leftover heat from the gas turbine's exhaust, which makes this combined cycle highly energy efficient, using less fuel for more power. Every step of the flex plant combined cycle process is focused on efficiency, minimal environmental impact, and lower CO2 emissions compared to traditional fossil fuel power plants. This process is very efficient, but how is its electricity actually created? The massive gas and steam turbine horsepower is used to spin the generator shafts which convert the rotational energy into electricity. The shafts inside the electrical generators consist of a series of electromagnetic copper coils, which rotate within a casing lined with additional coils. The magnetic field of the rotating shaft coils excite the electrons and create a flow of electricity through the outer electromagnetic coils. This flow of electricity is directed to a transformer and distributed to the power grid. That's where a modern, intelligent, and reliable grid infrastructure is critical. Managing energy from various points of creation across distances to points of consumption. And balancing the needs of the consumers with the generation resources available in real time. As the opportunities for renewables expand, the need to provide alternative, consistent, on-demand power is critical. Whether it's the lack of sunshine, quiet winds, or an unexpected